Hey guys, welcome to another video. I want to make a video from recommendation by a comment by Relivino. I hope I didn't butcher your name, nickname. So I'm going to talk about Ziri Mesher. Um, I will talk about uh, on my point of using. There's a lot of using settings you can work with but the process that I'm fast using is just make a good topology for what I need. By example let's uh, select our cloth and just mask then I'm going to extract it let's accept it okay and we have uh, this type of topology or we can also let's uncheck mask let's dynamesh it increasing or we can have this topology a lot of small squares so for me to have a fast uh, retopology, I usually use a simple one. So by going to Ziri Mesher, I'm going to the lower poly count. Just press one. Uh, also, if you have different groups like this, you can keep groups. And when you press the remesher, you will see that you will still have your two or three groups that you already have, but on the new topology, like this. So this is very fast the remesher. Uh, I like it because it's pretty accurate on low levels, but I'm not really sure if it's good for using for games for example if you use it you can go and do a small zirimersher and then just uh, go from there to make your good topology your flow topology uh, also you can play with these settings half same double if you press double will double your uh, polygon count the same will keep your polygon but do another topology and half you'll be reducing your topology by half uh, let's you let's try and use the z mesh guides uh, the z mesh guides let you kind of add your uh, topology flow that you want I mean if I want to have this straight let's drag it like this and then let's keep it half and press the remesher so as you can see I have this flow from the left to the right almost right okay I think this is all for the remesher I'm not using it more depth for me it's enough to have uh, low uh, mesh and then just go to divide and uh, add sculpt on it next step is using this sphere for topology I'm not using this because I use another program called Topogon which I found it much easier, much faster and you can get awesome maps, normal maps, displacement maps, etc. But for a quick uh, tutorial, uh, let's close this one, what we have in here let's uh, create something I think this is uh, better if you work 
like uh, some project like a hard surface so let's make a very quick hard surface let's dynamesh it so many polys doesn't matter let's keep our uh, symmetry like this let's say make it like this um, adding a mask something like this control if to invert it now let's go to the formation and inflate it like this but I don't want on the Nope. Nope. Yes, this one. The zero. I never find them. <laughs> okay. Let's dynamesh it again. Let's say this is our imaginary hard surface and we want to do a clean retopology because if we zero mesh it, we won't have a straight line, straight corner. So let's uh, open Z spheres like this. And now let's go to adaptive no, um, rigging and let's select our mesh, this one, this beautiful mesh, like this. By keeping uh, X selected, next step is to go to topology, press edit topology, and now we can draw our new topology like this by pressing left click. Okay, let's make it like this. Press the left click in outside area and then press it again the point where you want to start again. If you want to delete uh, one line you just uh, press alt and left click like this. Let's make it back. Now let's do in here like this. Let's unite this one and by pressing A on your keyboard you can see a preview but also you can go to display properties let's press A again adaptive skin sorry not display property adaptive skin like this and you can choose your density I have, I want lower density because I want sharper edge or you can go higher as you can see. Okay, I think this is all. Hope you will find it helpful. As I said before, I'm not really using this only on hard surface. Thank you for watching, subscribe, like and comment on if you want another video